As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. Lock the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it! Get me them! What's this doing here? 
What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No. shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, I love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the correspondence. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. 
Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with the lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do, jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Be back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out of this. Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. Take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Aha! You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Please state for the slandering the party. Hey, Chaz. Charles. <laughs> yeah. So, how'd Petrov get away? There are more soldiers here than civilians. Some people believe that Petrov had help. So he's not alone. But you said all his partners were eliminated, right? Who else is there? That information is not yet available. We only have speculation, not facts. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. They 
say Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th, and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand. Not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. <laughs> This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Granted.
subdivisions. It comprises of dozens of workshops, warehouses, and archives, the cafeteria, a There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. This enormous flying platform easily houses the Chalamet Research and Development Complex, a part of Facility 3826. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Someone's got to move everything. Uh, what was that? new era of Soviet urban development. They won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have they frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. Such a city was as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Will be Moscow too. The brand new capital of our Soviet Union, which will soar above us all. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master. Find him. Find him. Get the schematic. Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer.
is all for the best. There it is. Let's head to the station. Get the cable cars online and get out of here. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. This works. The cable car line is activated. Hey, we'll Welcome to the Schematic. Please don't stop. me. He's alive. Schematic. Holy fuck. Sorry. A talking no corpse. ticket. We are ready to depart. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Charles, 
That was a bit off, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. about the Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, covering? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Burov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of now does. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and a month, you'll have a complete subway system, or any sort of tunnel. Subway is hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for, terraforming. So their top secret in their armor is tougher than attacks. PTA plates unmarked, cutting edge sites. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars, just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borogs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love, care, or it'll descend into confusion. Oh, laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall.
That hurt! That thing packs a punch! I almost... operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The Birch Tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood.
So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same offer... So... Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? This is the Lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. I've got one. You are now observing the Luna Memorial, a symbol of the Soviet lunar program. The USSR's first major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission. Magnificent. That batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. Sugar? Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, 
Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I promise. I'd like to pull the plug on you. But it's too bad I can't do without your help. did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. Obviously, the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the Seed Bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the Moon and Mars. 
research. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Saving data. Access granted. Access granted. Certainly, Crispy Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seat bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. 
from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, illuminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war, and Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. Fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. You heard about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. Ah, it should be fine if they keep spraying it. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. How many of you are there?
sons of bitches. Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Uh, what? What makes you think the whole place has gone tits up? If this happened in Vavilov alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <laughs> Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. <laughs> 